So I'm gonna chase the Prince himself's visit. And he's broken hearted. We have to do something, and fast, we need to find him some belief. Or is it just me? Is it getting misty in here? Whoa, this is really something. It's going on now all of a sudden. I can't see a thing. Huh? Wait a second. Hmm? There's someone there. Who? I can't see anything. Just who in blazes do you think you are? And where in the world did you spring from? I will have answers. Huh? We could ask you the same thing. Mind your tongue, Kirby. You stand before an emperor. We'll take care of them, your majesty. <laughs> stand down! I must discover how they came to appear here. And I shall not rest until I have done so. It is my sworn duty to know all that goes on in my domain. Come! Bring them to my chamber. We have much to discuss. Uh, huh? <laughs> you are listening to your lies the more laughable they become. Are you truly trying to suggest that you are from the future? Is it really true, Swain? I'm not sure I believe it myself. There's no doubt about it. You saw the star save the prince with your own eyes. The man you see before you now, on the other hand, he's the former emperor of Hamlin. Hmm. You shall tell more of this. Now speak. What becomes of Hamlin in the future? And who is this prince that you encountered? Uh, he had long dark hair and blue eyes. Hmm. <laughs> if you must tell lies, you might at least make them credible, boy. Huh? We're not lying. He... Do you mean you tell me that my younger son will one day become emperor? Younger? So that mighty prince has got an older brother, has he? Look at this. This is your darling son, Marsassin, all grown up. This is the future emperor of Hamelin. Hmm, it does indeed look somewhat similar to my son. Should you really be showing him that, Swain? I had to do something. You never would have believed this otherwise. Marsassin becomes emperor, but what of Gascon? Gaston? What will become of him? Well, you never really liked him much anyway, did you? He wasn't really emperor material. Are you claiming that I do not care for my own son? I have had men in prison for less. Are you denying it? Surely not. Marsassin was the only son he ever wanted. How dare you? How dare you make such a claim? Your Majesty, something terrible has occurred. It's Prince Gascon and Prince Marsassin. They want to practice their magic, but... They have ventured beyond the city walls! Leave them be. They shall fend for themselves. But, Your Majesty, think of the danger! Prince Marsassin is still so young! You're not going to go help them, Your Majesty? Certainly not. They must learn to resolve problems that are other their making. This is the Hamlin way. You're really just going to abandon your own children? Silence! But they're in danger, Your Majesty. If you won't help them, we will. Look, we don't have time for a staring contest. I say lead this old fool to student. Find those kids. What did you say? We'll continue this later, shall we? Hey, mind if I touch your stuff, your highness? So now I can uh, free roam this place, right? No guards.
Ah, so the people, they're not wearing their helmets now. Annoying to navigate this place just because you had to go up these stairs. So yeah, we're gonna visit Hooters, and uh, buy some items, of course. Another chest, of course, I expected as much. Next be gone. Dior. And since we all leveled up, um, our energy is already replenished. And we'll need the rest at the end.
though. Oh wow, all over leveled up. Convenient. That replenishes my magic. <coughs> Phew, cracky, that was a close one. Are you alright? You'd say you're princess, aren't you? Your father is the emperor. Yes, my name is Marsassin. Shut up, you fool. We can't go telling everybody who we are. Oh, so your brother isn't going to tell us his name? Leave me alone. I already know it's Gascon. Leave you alone? You do realize that we're the ones who came and rescued you after you went off all on your own, don't you? Heh, <laughs> no one asked you to. We are practicing magic. I'll tell you what got in the way, that is. Uh, Gascon, I'm hungry. What? Already? Well, I suppose we better get you something to eat then. Come on, you lot. Huh? Yeah, you never make it back to Himalayan by yourselves. We better escort you. Escort us? Yeah, don't worry, you can thank us later. <coughs> but I'm guessing Oliver's gonna lead the way again. Oh. Save my game after getting another level up. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go over here and get where this treasure is. Once more, just in case we're going to get in a fight. Are you not still following us? But, but we've got to tell the Emperor that we found you! Heh, <laughs> you want to see my father, do you? I don't know what you want from him. Actually, I don't care. Bye! Yeah. There you go, Minuteman! We saved your skin back then! Ain't he going to dig us or anything? Thank you, you're the one who should be thanking us for escorting you back to Hamlin. The flipping cheek of this kid! I ain't never seen anything like it, man! Kid! I'm not a kid! And I have a name! Gascon! Prince Gascon to you! Be sure to dress me properly if we ever meet again! Now come along, Marsassin! Wonder why his name was question mark. We already knew his name was Gascon. All right. <coughs> oh, who the bleaking heck does he think he is? He's gonna be proper wound up. He has. So the two princes are called Gascon and Marsassin. Something about Prince Gascon. Hmm. What is it? I feel like I met him somewhere before. I guess it's just my imagination, though. Oh, definitely. No doubt about it. It's your imagination. It's your imagination. All right. I guess so, huh? Now stop wasting time with hairbrain theories. We need to get moving. Ha 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 ha! I marry your spirit. Not every child would so readily refuse an emperor. 
I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's something we have to do. Indeed, and yet your magical abilities really are outstanding. I realize now that I should never have doubted you. You understand that I am reluctant to let such a talent slip away. Are you sure I can't persuade you to be Marsassin's magic teacher? Heh, <laughs> just as stubborn as I remember. Hmm? What did you say? I'm sorry, Majesty, but we really do have to go back to our own time. It's just, we don't know how. I didn't even notice we are in, back in time. <laughs> you want to go back to your time, to the future? Well, breach time would be ideal, of course. Breach time? A legendary spell, one that allows the caster to take a leap through time. Alas, it has long been sealed away on account of its power. Gee, that sounds like just what we need. I wonder if there's a way we could get this breach time spell. Hey, I heard about your new rule. Why can't I get with Marcessa and help her practice this magic? Really, Gascon, we both know you haven't a single magical bone in your body. Marcessa has become a sage. You will learn nothing from the likes of you. That's not true. I'll teach Marcessa some magic. I'll help him become a sage. You'll see. He does not need your help. Your time would be better spent thinking of another role for yourself within the Empire. What kind of role are you talking about? Would you have me spoon-feed everything to you? You must find your own answers to such questions. That is the Hamlin way. Fine. Come on, Marsassin. Let's go and practice some magic. All right. <coughs> hmm. I'm sorry that you had to witness that. You were talking about breach time, Majesty. Yes. Now, in return for rescuing my sons, I shall relate to you a piece of Hamlin lore. It states that the spell required to travel through time is hidden on the tombstone trail, along with the wand required to cast it. The tombstone trail? I don't like the sound of that. The tombstone trail winds its way through a desolate valley to the northwest of here. At its end stands an ancient altar, dating from the Age of Sages. That is where you'll find the legendary wand, Mornstar. Mornstar? Prove yourself worthy of wielding that wand, and you shall surely be deemed ready to cast Breach Time. Be aware, however, that you can only cast Breach Time once in your life. If you go back to the future, you'll not be able to return to this time. Do you understand? Yes, Your Majesty, we understand. We're going to get more and start travel back to our own time. Your enthusiasm is admirable, yet beware. The Tombstone trails him to countless evil spirits. Take the spell and use it to keep the fiends at bay. Ooh, Light Arrow. So I don't know why we can't use those other spells. We sure will. Thank you, Your Majesty. Now let me just check those out. Where the hell they might be. Well, there's Arrow of Light. Okay, there's Weircat. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you're not allowed to create food, you can only, like, duplicate it or some kind of wizarding law, you know? That'd be a cool spell mimic. Yeah, I know the 
Take heart. Healing touch. Shame that we can't use any of these. Oh well. Only they'd be really cool puzzle related spells. Not really much puzzle solving in this game. Guards are back. Seriously, like, when do we just jump back in time? I didn't notice anything weird. Is it when that mist happened? Is that when we went back in time? It's the only thing I can think of. I just don't understand how that happened. Take it. <coughs> Only path I can see to go. What? Huh. Oh, that was random. I didn't even know there was a treasure there. Yeah, this looks like a valley of tombstones, and nothing else does. Looks like we had to follow that path. Or can we just this is kinda of confusing. Let's 
seriously, let me figure out <coughs> which way to go. We can do this! Ah, oh, should we team a familiar? Oh, I guess the battle's over now. <coughs> ah, that's kind of funny, graduated the cutscene. See, this looks like a dead end. That, look, that looks like a spot where you make a bridge, so I mean, that's what we gotta do. Called it. Oh, it's the Bridge Guardian, big robot man. You know, he's probably weak against electricity too. And I'm right on that thought. Ouch! Ouch! does not have strong attack power, right? Nice <coughs> so where we go from here? Man, this this cliff area alone is a real maze. Oh, I didn't mean to attack him. To attack the robot man. So yeah, robot types are weak against electricity. Good to remember. enemies have high defense. Easy. 
Alright, Esther's gonna level up soon. That'll be nice, because she is, uh, pretty helpful. Especially in a robot-themed area. The Tombstone Trail, Wriggling Road to Ruin. Here we are, the Tombstone Trail. Hey! Huh? <laughs> Heading to the valley, are you? Well, we're coming with you. What? You're not serious. Ruby Yegman, must have followed us all the way here, the cheeky little beggars. You've got a gun, haven't you? Well, I'm building my own special gun. Looks like we got some things in common. Here, look and learn! <coughs> oh, neat. Yeah, I've been neglecting that. Dear me, were you always this cocky? We can't very long go leaving you to get lost in a place like this now, can we? If anything happened, the Emperor would go flipping spare! <laughs> you don't honestly think my father would lose a moment's sleep if I disappeared, do you? He doesn't give a damn about me! All I care is about is my assassin! The Gascon, he's not... Come on, let's go. I'll go without you if I have to. But why is he giving us orders all of a sudden? Wow, I'm struggling to leave it myself. What were you thinking? Sorry, what was that, Swain? Nothing. Come on, let's go. Is Gascon a younger version of Swain? Just thought of that. Anyway, I'm not going to explore this place quite yet. I'm going to just put a couple areas on the map. I'm going to save the game, replenish my energy. <coughs> and with that, I will see y'all later.